Hello, I'm Loop the Crazy Man, and I'm doing episode 4 of my string of videos, and this one's going to be on racism, so a lot of time it's going to have to wait because legal players sort of wanted me to do a video on that. He probably messaged me a couple times. So, uh, he asked me how these scriptures are not racist, and so I'm going to explain how these Sunday scriptures aren't racist, but... First, I'm going to explain um, my views on racism and what I think about that. Honestly, I think if my skin was darker or lighter than it is now, then I'd be the same person I was. And if someone else's skin was darker or lighter than it is now, then they'd be the same person. People are people, no matter what their skin color is. So, um, I really can't believe that in the early 1800s and before that, that people were mistreated because of that. And for that, I really, really, really dislike people that are racist against other people. So, now I'm going to explain some of these scriptures first here. The Lord ne the Okay, so first one is ne Second Nephi 5.21. Oh, here we go. Alright. Uh... And he had cursed the cursing to come upon them, yea, even a sore cursing, because of their iniquity, because they are hardened in their hearts against them, that they had become like unto a flint, wherefore they were, as they were white, exceedingly fair and delightsome, that they might not become enticing unto the people of the Lord. It said, Ah, my people, the Lord God did cause the skin of blackness to come upon them. And he's talking about Laman and Lemuel. And... So basically, he they hardened their hearts against the Lord, and they really did not like the Nephites. So, in my opinion, the Lord had to separate them from the Nephites, you know, at least a little, to stop from conflicts from happening. But, and the conflicts did happen. So the second one, and the skins were dark according to the mark which was set upon their fathers, which was the curse upon them. Book of Mormon, Alma three six. Oh, yeah. And the skins of the Lamanites were dark, according to the mark of which was set upon their fathers, which was a curse upon them because of the transgression and rebellion against their brethren, who caused Nephi, Jacob, and Joseph, and Sam, who were just and holy men. And also, again, talking about Laman and Lemuel. Um, they're saying that Laman and Lemuel really didn't like Nephi and his brothers, who were holy people, and they would, of course... Um, go against them and try to ignite conflict, which they did. And these, there are some other ones, two more, I think. And the cursing which hath come upon their skins, and that's all he gave for that, but in reality, there's much more of that scripture, and there's verses that go along with that, too. Behold, the Lamanites, your brethren, whom ye hate because of their filthiness and the cursing which hath come upon their skins, are more righteous than you, for they have not forgotten the commandment of the Lord, which was given unto our father, that they should have save it one wife, and concubines they should have none, and there should be, and there should not be whoredoms committed upon among them. Huh? And so, he said this was a racist scripture, but it's actually not. It's saying that the Lamanites were actually more being more righteous than the Nephites, and. Of course, this basically proves that anyone can be righteous, and there's race does not affect that. Also, and this whole chapter is about Jacob telling um, the people, the Nephites, about how they shouldn't be racist, and that how that's a horrible thing that they would be doing that, and that they would be racist against the Lamites that they hate because of their skin, yet they are more righteous than them. And this last one is Mormon 5.15. Oh, where is it? Oh, here. Or, or Mormon 5.15. For this people shall become a dark, a filthy, and a loathsome people. Now, um, I think that that's describing what the Lamanites would soon become. Because they were a civilized people. They had houses. They had, you know, a, I think, a federal system. And they would turn into the Indians of North America. 
and uh, if you have studied Indians at all, they some Indians were civilized, some Indians weren't, and they ate bugs and um, mud and things like that. And so it said they shall become a dark, a filthy, and a loathsome people. And the people that traveled to America did not like the Indians very much. And um, filthy, of course, they ate bugs and mud. So at that point in time, the Indians did. So it, I guess we could consider that filthy. So, in other words, this is my video on racism um, to respond to a legal player. And so, honestly, I have to say that race does not, uh, they're honestly, in my opinion, as I said earlier, I don't think they're really in actuality as racist. I think that everyone is everyone and people are people and that race cannot affect that. So, yeah, in the end, the Mormon church is not racist.